elephant in the room. A lot of tough guys, tough officers think that they're just too well tough for yoga. What do you say to that? It's actually more challenging than you might think. Get those legs up higher! <laughs> Constable Amy Boudreau serves as a police officer in the greater Toronto area, Canada, and she is well known as the Yoga Cop, a mental health ambassador and member of the First Responder Mindfulness Network. So I challenge you to get your workout clothes on and learn a good stretch and exercises that will help you get in better shape. What is a great way to treat back pain from the uniform? Yoga. Okay, you said yoga. Uh, I'm out of shape, but don't have time to go to the gym. What can I do? Something you could probably do anywhere at any time. It doesn't take a lot of time. Yoga. What a lot of people don't realize is it's doing much more for you than you actually realize. So it's not just moving your body and just stretching it. What we, what most people don't realize is that 50% of your stretchability or like mobility is through your nervous system. There's all these different sensors inside your body so when you're in these poses and you're doing these postures and these uh you're doing these like mindful movements you're connecting your your mind and your body you're taking it in through your senses so it's bypassing your conscious thinking and it goes straight to your unconscious thinking because it's communicating to your limbic system what that does is when we're constantly in fight or flight and in these high stressful situations what happens is we become tense and we're stressed. So your t- your shoulders are tight, your back is tight. We already have equipment on our body. So naturally we've got more weight on us anyway with all that stuff. That becomes our operating pattern, our default op- operating pattern. So we walk around, we've got like terrible posture. We've got really tense muscles. And again, with the stress and everything like that, our resting tension is increased. But what that means is if we're not training our body to relax, and how to turn off that electrical current that's kind of like wiring through us that like stressful feeling that's what we're just going to kind of get tighter and tighter and tighter and over time you know you can't you won't be able to like do normal things like your daily uh you know picking up your kids or um lifting up that heavy bag or you know just like our daily movements right so when you're sitting for long hours in your cruiser or you're sitting long hours at your desk you want to make sure that you're you're moving your body periodically through the day where you have some type of routine, if you're heavy weightlifting or you're exercising, that you're supplementing, practicing, you know, to improve your flexibility and to reduce some of the stress in your, um, in your body that way. So you got to do yoga. (laughs) Absolutely. I agree. Yeah. I held out on it for the first like nine years of my career. And then in 2018, just finally gave in. I was like, I'm tired of being in pain in uniform. And I started doing it. Wow. I'm in my late thirties and I'm more athletic than some of the officers who are in their early twenties. I was like, yes, yoga. <laughs> and I don't care who knows. And one thing I tell police officers is look, if you're concerned that someone's going to judge you because you're doing it, or your man card's going to have to be turned in, then just don't tell anyone you're doing it. Do it in the secrecy of your own home. It's fine. Just, you got to do it. I'm a firm believer and we could talk about it all day. I know, but uh, Amy can, <laughs> but Amy, can you show us some yoga we can put to use uh, that will really help law enforcement officers? Yeah, let's get it going. Well, one thing you really want to be mindful of when you're doing any type of yoga um, movements is reconnect your, your breath to your to your body movement. What I like to do to try to get my calm state going and get that parasympathetic nervous system going is I breathe in for four and I exhale for eight. That longer exhale is actually going to be calming to your nervous system and your body. It's going to allow for a better stretch. Breathe in for four. One, two, three, four, and then exhale for eight. So I'm going to keep doing that through my whole practice. Um, But just to get the body warmed up, um, you can, sometimes people will do a vinyasa, which means um, like you'll just come up, you'll fold, go down into a plank pose, come up into an upward dog and then downward dog. Um, another one that you can do is a moon squat. So you're just getting your whole body warmed up. These are moon squats. You can come all the way down and just stretch all the way up and then all the way back down again. And then you would do that a couple of times. So maybe like 
five times, five, six times um, to just get your body warm. And then one thing that's really good, and again, you can do this anywhere, um, is a standing side stretch. So you just um, bring your arms up and then just bend over to the side so you get your feet. And I can't see my feet, but put them together so your toes are touching. And then as you inhale and then exhale, you want to bend over to the side. And so you really want to feel that stretch through your side body. Again, it's going to um, lower back into your hips. And then you come up to the center, do the other side. And again, you can do this in your cruiser. You can do this in your, in your desk. So that'll kind of just loosen up your sides. Um, another good thing that you can do for your lower back is a lot of times our hamstrings are really tight. We do a lot of forward bending, but we don't actually hold the poses long enough to um, get a, a real stretch. So what you can do is a short dog. You would have a wide stance on your mat and then have your arms a little bit closer to your feet and then you're just gonna kind of relax. So as you're doing your four, eight breathing, you also want to have, use as little as your muscles as possible to try to relax as much as you can because you get the best stretch um, through passive stretching and then com combined with the breathing, um, it's kind of like a nervous system hack where it'll turn off your stretch reflex. So you would hold that. Anyway, it becomes, it feels like, it doesn't look like much, but when you start to hold that for like two minutes, you really can feel, start feeling some discomfort because you're not used to stretching that, but that's gonna alleviate a lot of your uh, lower back pain. So who doesn't want to be in shape and gain strength as a police officer or just anyone in general? So your turn to instruct me because I want to see if I have what it takes. You're going to lift your legs up and hold it. So then what you want to do is you want to come all the way down and then all the way back up and keep your legs <laughs> up. So we're going to do kind of one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, get those legs up higher, eight, nine, ten. But for the tricep, you put one leg up and then you're going to come all the way down. Yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Now switch your other leg. You're crazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, do you see that in your triceps? <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so if you're going to come into a downward dog, or sorry, yeah, downward dog, and then you're going to come into a plank, and then you're going to slowly raise your body down, but really, really use your arm strength. And then don't hit the ground, just hover when you come down to the ground, and then you're going to come up into an upward dog, and then back into a downward dog. And then we're just gonna keep doing that, okay? Okay. We're gonna do five, we're gonna, let's do five of them. Okay, so plank and slow, come down. Again, pay attention to your breath. As you inhale, come up. Exhale, downward dog. Again, into plank, <clears throat> slowly lower down as you exhale. As you inhale, come up. Exhale, downward dog. Again, plank, slowly hover down. As you come up, 
Inhale. Exhale, downward dog. Again, hover, plank, slowly come down. In, upward dog, downward dog. I think that was five. <laughs> What's up? Just relax. My legs, that's what. You show off. Amy, where can people find you if they want to look more into what you have to offer so far as the mental health side of things, as well as yoga and conditioning? Yeah, so you can give me a follow. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and LinkedIn. Um, my handle is at the yoga cop. And I also just wanted to throw out there that I'm actually competing <laughs> in the Miss Health and Fitness competition. I'm currently in third place. So Got to get you to first. How can we get you to yeah. first? <laughs> get me there.